friends and welcome to Mystic Star Magic. Today we're going to have a lot of fun finding out quick messages for you in terms of abundance, career, finances, but it's not any kind of message. It's angel messages. So this is exciting. Um, let's see which each pile has. And those are the fortune cookie cards by Be Love and Crystal. This is group two. This is group three. And this is group four. Okay, so each one has very particular message um we're using our intuition to pick the deck that we want um if you want to find out all about the oracles or if you want to find out about my booking a personal reading or donating to the channel all that is in the description down below thank you so much for being here let's go ahead close our eyes and inhale and now as we exhale and open our eyes Choose whichever pile draws you to it. All right, let's do this. Hello, my friends from Group 1. So you chose your finances will improve. So that's a beautiful um, statement right there. I feel like, but with the mountain behind it, it's like after challenges, you are overcome. And look at that. You're having the expansion. That is growth here. That is amazing. Let's see what your cards are. Letting go the death. Yep. Okay, and beauty and then alignment. Okay, so we have, I'm going to lift you up so you can see all the cards. So let's first read the letting go. Releasing the past can seem like a challenge, but, you, it, but it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before. Endings always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow the situation to lead you to more your joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this. And I'm going to go ahead and, and kind of segue into the alignment. So being one with the universe is reminded that you are the creator of your own destiny, right? So what I'm seeing here is actually letting, that's the death card, the letting go. This is a, a death card. And like I said, there's like, a, I feel like there were challenges. And what I, I didn't know what those challenges were. A lot of it, yes, it is definitely, you know, we're going through a whole bunch of different reasons why there may be career problems or like, you know, like stagnation in career or in finances. Um, and so, but a lot of what I'm seeing here is also that it's our own thought processes where you need to change our thoughts. We need to understand aligned with the fact that we create our own destiny, like in alignment. That's almost like a, a magician energy for that. Um, and then the beauty our Archangel here is letting me know that it's important with your heart. It's like opening your heart is what I'm seeing here. Allowing your heart to come through. And here I also want to say like accepting maybe like liking or learn, coming, uh, how do I say it? Appreciating, coming to appreciate money. And, and now I, why I'm saying this is because this one has a lot about your past, um, so challenges. So maybe for some of you, maybe the thoughts is here that, you know, money is, is a bad, it's, it does bad things. So like greed is bad, yeah? Greed is bad, but it's not the money. I mean, um, it's the greed, like, because money can do wonderful things, right? People who, who have a lot of money and can do amazing things um, can help other people. If they want to, it, it's the greed that's bad, not the money. So the beauty, finding the beauty in abundance. I really want to say that. So your finances will improve. I want you to, I almost feel like I want that to be your affirmation. My finances are improving. That's what I, I feel like all of that. But you have to let go of old, you know, thought patterns. You have to understand that you create your own abundance here. Um, and, and let things, maybe trying something completely new because we're letting go. That death card means something. Um, and instead, moving towards something completely new, which is for, it's being guided by your heart um, and, and listening to your own intuition here. I, I hope that makes sense. I feel like the fact that you even got the, you know, you picked that finances are improving. That's a major thing. They are improving. It even says here, look, choose to allow the situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Right? This is what it's saying here. And endings her always herald new beginnings. So whatever is coming to an end, there's a new door that's opening for you. But you have to change your thoughts. It can't just keep doing the same thing and expect different things. I hope you like this little 
tidbit information and reading um, and messages. I hope this guidance helped you. If it did, please do consider um, subscribing. It helps me a lot and I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, I'm sending so much love, so much light. Until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my dear friend. Hello, group two. Let's see what career and abundance we have guidance from your angels. So peer beneath. So something is lurking underneath. It's your emotions. There's something underneath. Maybe actually you can find, um, I almost feel like this is weird, but I want to feel like there's underneath there in your thoughts, there's some percolating idea of like ideas that you might want to play with, but you're not letting it come to the light. So you have to look at there um, and, and kind of formulate. I feel like new ideas coming to the fourth. So we have three of abundance. That's beautiful already. Um, there's a beautiful sign here for this. All right. So we have three of abundance. Let me lift you up so you can see here with me. Three of abundance. So your passion will lead you to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. So this is the three of pentacles energy right there. So peer beneath, maybe looking underneath, maybe looking. Um, I do feel like for me that, that water is letting me know emotions. There's something there. Maybe you're ready for something new. Um, so looking for mentors or looking for people to collaborate. So let's look over here, over here. Duality. There are two sides to everything. Mm, okay. And then hesitation. Your angels are motivating you to proceed with stepping into the unknown and starting a new project. You will prevail. So, <laughs> and okay. So what I'm seeing here, <laughs> I love this. I'm getting excited because this duality is what I'm seeing here is that you, you can look at it two ways. And you can, you can look at it as I'm going to fail, or you can look at it as you're going to, um, cause there's hesitation. You're hesitating. You have, I feel like desires, you have want something you, you are, you know, there's a desire for you to create something. Um, like I said, is passion lead your divine life purpose. And this is, could be a big decision here for you, but you're looking at it. I almost want to say like the glass half empty versus the glass half full so you so f for some of us it's easier to fail ahead of time because then we don't you know we've already prepared ourselves and the duality is like i want you to flip that around if that's what you're feeling if you're feeling oh, i'm gonna fail ahead of time and you kind of feel like oh i shouldn't do it because you know there's like you can come up with millions of excuses there's a different millions of excuses with it where you can hesitate but if you flip that around it's like what if i am successful what if this thing which right here I'm seeing your cards are saying what if I can be successful what if this can be the thing that leads me to my life purpose what if if this is the thing that I've been calling to do but you know it, what if and you get really excited with that but what I'm seeing up here underneath is yes there's are all those ideas but there's also a need to shine the light on where I, why it is that if you're feeling ahead of time where you're saying, oh, it, it's not going to work out. Like, oh, I'm not doing this because it's not working out. Or, or like, I, the growth isn't good enough or this or that. We have, like I said, millions of excuses. Look at those excuses. Why are they there? Right? And if, if, because I want you to face that fear, it's a fear of failure, right? But failure, right? It's not really failure. It is just a learning process and how to make it better so that you can go to the next step. So I want you to see this. There is very good potential here for amazing things. Look at this. You will prevail. So whatever it is that you've been dreaming of, whatever it is, connect to people who can mentor you, connect to people who can collaborate with you and move forward with it. And think, instead of thinking, what if I fail? Think about what if I'm successful? What if this is my life purpose? What if this? And keep pumping yourself up for it. Then I think you will be very, very successful. All right, so that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. I am sending you so much love, so much light. Um, please consider subscribing. Until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my dear friends. Hello, group three. Let's see. So you have six solitude. I'm seeing here 
maybe a vacation, but what I'm seeing here is a lot of learning. That's what I'm saying that possibly for you, for career, it might be not you need to learn something, possibly something new. Um, for Even if for abundance, also learning new skills may be helping you here. We have helper of action. Okay, that's the knight of action or the... I always forget which one it is. <laughs> See the knight of action or the page. I think it's actually the page of wands. Okay, and that's very beautiful actually. Let's look at what we need to do. Lift it up so you can see all of them. All right, let's see. Let's, let's read the page, the helper of action. So, helper of action or page of wands. You're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first, but you would probably don't have time. So get busy. Follow your instincts and have fun. You are you or someone you meet is very self-assured, capable, enthusiastic, and can do anything with a smile. Oh my goodness, look at that. Amazing. I love that. I love that. So what I'm, what is it saying here? We need to start taking action. We maybe planning might be good. Maybe that's seeking that added, like learning and, and kind of doing, um, more research, I would say kind of almost feels like that's true. Chances. Your angels are encouraging you to take chances leave no room for doubt or fear wow and i feel like okay so you're also being protected by from negativity protection from negativity and this could be from your own negativity like your own negative thoughts or it might be from somebody else's especially because i feel like you are ready to take a leap maybe this is why the seek the solitude is because you're building something big and maybe right now is not the time to share it with others there's also because i do feel like you need to learn so even if you're whatever it is that you are if this is about career, it is time for you to learn something new about it. Uh, maybe have some time for, for learning a new skill, a new set. If this is a, a new venture that you're thinking about, creative business, then it is also about doing more research on it, right? Being in a little bit in hermit mode, looking more, planning more here. Um, so you are blessed with many wonderful things to do. So yeah, you have a lot of things to do here. But I do think planning it out would be really, really helpful. But like I said, follow your instinct and have fun. And you do everything with a smile. Don't like, don't be negative thinking and take that chance that you've been wanting. I hope this makes sense. If it did, please do consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. I am sending you so much love, so much light. Until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, group four. Let's find out. Okay, so you're finding your tribe. I, I have trouble pronouncing that word. <laughs> so finding like-minded people. Let's call it that. Um, so that might be a time for you to do that. Let's see what other stuff it is. We have the ten of emotions to so ten of cups fulfillment, patience, and inter in intervention. Okay, let's look at that. All right. Whew. So this is all about abundance. Abundance. Okay, thank you for focusing. Abundance and career. So, 10 of emotions. Life is blessing you with wonderful and loving family and people. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. Okay. Patience. The right time is near. And then interventions. Your angels remind you that everything happens for a reason. Trust that your ascendant masters are available for comfort, guidance, and support. So what I'm seeing here is... Hmm, in terms of... I don't know what it... Like, to me, it just seems like... Because I'm not seeing a lot of... like This is particularly about abundance, but I feel like with this intervention, I feel like there might be you might be having some financial constraints there might be some has um pauses in your work or situation or maybe you're having a little bit of you're struggling a little bit if you have your own business you're struggling a little bit um but i feel like connecting to your own self um so you mean you mind do that everything happens for a reason so whatever reason if you're struggling right now there's a reason for it there is i feel like patience is um important for you right now because it is the right time is near you are nearing this abundance that you're doing but you need to connect to like yes find your like-minded people but i also feel like you need to kind of like the important thing is if especially if you're struggling a bit financially is connect to your family and people who can support you 
um, life is blessing you with wonderful, loving family, but it's also like great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now in the horizon. Harmony with those love and assured by offering forgiveness, understanding, kindness to others. You are rewarded with unconditional love, which is where you're going to get your help. I feel like if you allow that, if you give forgiveness, understanding, kindness to others, naturally, like I would say my focus would be for you is like let like the money... Um, it's coming, right? And Or whatever it is that you've been wanting in terms of like that career or of abundance, it's coming. But your, your greatest asset, your greatest, um, where, you're, where it's really going to come from is the sense of others. It's a sense of family. It's a sense of friendship. It's a sense of people who, you know, your, your, your co-workers, if you were, that is where it's coming from. This emotional fulfillment. Well, I feel like it's almost to see... For me, it's like that Ten of Cups is overflowing and it's so abundant that it turns into abundance of financial ways as well. So that's what I, I'm, I'm seeing here. I also wanted to say, yeah, so focus more on this. Focus more on your happiness. Focus more on being with people that you love um, and, and developing relationships. I think that's where your abundance is coming, which is very strange, but it's going to help. It's, everything is all working out for you in terms of that. Everything happens for a reason. And have patience with the money that is coming. Um, yeah. So that's what I have for you, group four. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this reading, please do consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. I'm sending so much love and so much light until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my dear friends. Thank <laughs> you.